Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We are still in Montana. Um, I've been hearing a clicking sound, or actually more of a knocking sound, in my um, passenger tire, the front one, and I was like, Ugh, what is wrong? So, um, me and Scotty took the tire off to take a look. Let me show you. Still looks all nice and brand new. This is wonderful. They did an awesome job. But what the problem is, is it's a malfunction in the brake pad. See this little plate here? The brake pad's supposed to be attached to it. Watch when I wiggle. See? It is not attached to that pad anymore. So it's a manufacturing um, default, I guess, or something, a mishap with the brake. But I don't want to have to take the whole brake system off again and replace that pad. So see here, there's a little space, it's, so it's clicking like that, and it gets really irritating, the noise does at the faster I go. Um, so we were thinking, we're going to go to AutoZone and see if we can find something to maybe place in there, if it, or find a, some kind of clip. Because if we can clip there, and clip there, and uh, do a wedge, then it won't make that, hopefully it won't make that sound anymore. Um, yeah, so... Unfortunately, it slipped out that plate, so now it's just rattling around in there. And when I'm going at faster speeds or even anything over five miles an hour, it just makes this awful um, kind of tapping sound. It still looks awesome, and they did a wonderful job. It's nothing that they did. I just unfortunately got a brake pad that malfunctioned. Hopefully, it'll be an easy fix, because if not, I will have to take the caliper off and replace that brake pad, which I really don't feel like doing. Hopefully, we can just get something to wedged in there. I believe that slipped off there. Yeah, see? It makes that noise. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just slipped off that pad, so... See, and we really couldn't put wood in there. No, no, no. Because it would burn up. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, we can find some um, metal clips or something yeah. to wedge in there. Yeah. I think that'll fix the problem. Yeah. It's just, it's just rattling. That's all it's doing because yeah. it's loose. So and, if and we can make it not loose, then it would be perfect. And the biggest scenario is going to be that it's not going anywhere. It's just going to be annoying until we get to a place right. that could do something about it. And I think since we got these from Napa, mm -hmm. that by us showing what, what's going on here, right. they might have to figure something out. True. You know, so. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Unfortunately, there's an auto zone a couple stores down, so hopefully we can find something that'll fix the problem. This is going to be my quick fix. I actually went into Walmart and just got a picture hanger, and I'm going to try to wedge that in there, and hopefully the tension from the other side will keep it locked in. I'm going to bend this real quick because it is a little too okay. thick. So. see hopefully we can wedge it in there I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough hold on one second let me go my camera do, do. Oh, is it to, is no. it gonna be too thick uh, let me see maybe we go up from the top let me here. see if I can smash I'll hold it that a up. Bending it, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Oh, there you go. Perfect. That shouldn't slip out. No. No more movement there at all. No. Wow. And that's and that's good. So there's no movement at all. That was a 99 cent fix right there. And that was a great thing to get, Aja. <laughs> so I thought perfect. we just just uh, for um, security measures we can. Um, because this uh, was slipping. See how it just a little wiggle right there in the bottom part? Okay. If we could just either put it there. We need to, there, angle it out a little bit. Let's see if I can. Get this in like this. Okay, there you go. That'll prevent it from... Awesome. See if we can smack it down a little yep. bit more. There we go. Oh, but mm. it's still kind of loose. Yeah. So. Let's see if there's any, there's no wiggle anymore, though. But I, I have a strange, funny, see, it'll yeah. just fall out. 
That's um, why. Maybe we could do that same thing. Just do it this way. Look. Let me see if I can open this up. But it's already been bent, so the structure is not going to be as... You know what I'm saying? What if I smash this, Just use and this, this will go use underneath the, that? Use the new one, and just don't smash it as much. I have to smash it a little bit. Yeah. That's good. Now I'm just going to straighten it out like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, you hold it, and I'll hit your finger. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hold it, and you hit your own finger. <laughs> There's no fun in that. See, it's just one up. Bend, right, because there's, you might have to shrink it a little bit more. I think that's perfect because, yeah, the one that you used before, because I just had to bend this out. That's why it was, um, because this was flush. Now it'll give it something to grip onto. Okay. So. Okay. See, there you go. Yep. That's it. Is it still loose in oh. there? <laughs> That's my finger! <laughs> nope, see, it's not the other time it wanted to pop out. Now it doesn't. Put the other one in there. Since we have three, might as well use them. <laughs> you know what an odd number to sell you? Three of anything. Wait here, use this to knock it in. That's gonna swell at first. Let me get it in and then I'll make it swell. Okay. Come on, Mel. Here, let me hold that side. Okay, go ahead. Oh ouchie. All right, that's gonna work. Yeah, they're in good. See if there's any play anymore. Oh, that is perfect. Uh, yeah. See, sometimes you just have to use your brain and you can figure things out. Now to put the tire back on and see if the problem's gone away. Keep my fingers crossed. This is how we got it up. I went ahead and bought a 12 ton jack because it didn't come with a jack and I didn't want to be stuck on the side of the road with no way to um, lift Panda if I got a flat. So, I am road ready, and hopefully this is going to work. There's the tire we have to put back on, and the tools. Um, oh, let's see. Might have to lift the jack up a little bit. Okay. Here you go. Oh, wait. You got it? Best part is same shirt, and same pants from the last one. Oh yeah, this is his work outfit. <laughs> Here, I think she was uh, taking a picture of Panda. I'm gonna put a little pressure on some of these bolts, but I need you to fire it up so I can um, tighten them. I okay. can't tighten them at this, so just give me a second. Do you want to just release it and put it down? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So oh, do you want me to straighten the tire out, though? Yeah, but after we put it down, yeah. I just want to make sure it's off. I just can't get the torque on it. Watch your feetsies. Okay. You got it okay? I can get it. No, I got it. I can get it. So, this releases it right here. 
All right, here it goes. That was easy enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, you're getting it all the way back yep. in. Okay. Nice, Jack. Heck yeah. Okay. All right, I'll put all this up. There's that. Yeah, There's the, that. the breaker yep. bar. And I'm going to put this all up. Okay, I'll leave that. Yeah. That one. There it goes. Thank you, Black Jack. So these have to be done to 110 pounds of pressure torque. We don't have a torque wrench. So I figured I'm 110 pounds, one foot out. I'll stand on this thing and we'll, we'll put the pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a torque wrench. Of, I need to actually probably get one. Because it starts clicking. It's uh oh. Single. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I have one. That's Moo Moo's Chinese face. Look, Moo. She's Look got the, the squinty Asian eyes going on. I can tell you're related to me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it as a. Hopefully, a quality wrench this time. Yeah, that wrench was pretty old that I had, so... And they do break from time to time. Well, and I guess maybe I do weigh more than 105 pounds, 110 pounds. <laughs> Could be. Well, I know, but the pressure from your foot, unless you're... You, I mean, you'd have to put your whole entire body on there. Right? So I'm just we'll go there. I just need to go there and go. Okay, that's cool. We can ride there. That way I can test and see if there's any more clicking sounds. And I'm at about half a tank too, so I might as well get fuel. Oh, I am too. I need to get some gas as well. So at least there's a lesson learned here. It's always nice to be um, prepared for situations. That's why I don't really like triple A because you have to wait for hours and they're not always available. They don't call the best tow company. Sometimes they're expensive. Uh, it's just nice to be prepared and do your own stuff. I mean, if you're going to be traveling on the road, um, get to know your vehicle a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying you have to fix every single thing, but it's nice to know the basics. So that way, if you get in a situation and there's no one there to help you, help is always great, but if there's no one there to help you, you can do it. I checked all my fluids and I'm gonna put that back in there. Roger. Yeah? Would you like... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that a bat upside down? It's an upside down bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. I want to know if you wanted these bats. Yeah, that's fine. I can use them somewhere. All right. I well, you know, you're going to use them? Yeah, I already used them on my inside my uh, mirror. Oh, so they're just so, the extra ones? Yeah, just okay. extras. There Thank you, you. You're welcome. Okay, we'll see you down at the other stop. Gas station. Yep. Right, okay. Bye. 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 We're headed to the gas station to grab some gas and propane so we can get on the road. Oops. There's no turn that way. Okay. Anyways, um... There is no clicking sound anymore, or no rattling sound. Awesome. Yay! I love it when things work out. Not going what I don't want to jinx myself. I keep a log book of my mileage and also keep my gas receipts for tax purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and log this. Every time I fill up, I always put it in the log and I put how many miles there was. What is today's date? The 20th? 20th? 
28th. Yeah, 28th. My miles are at 51,368. And, and our location is Miles City, Montana. Montana. Wow, that is a long trailer. I think it might have me blocked in. I'm gonna try to get out. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Right. Just don't wanna swipe anything. I think I'm good. I'm dead. <laughs> now for some propane. I've been using um, my furnace. So usually my propane lasts me propane lasts me about six months if I just use it for cooking. But when I use it for heating as well, it goes a little faster. So yeah, I'm just gonna top off on some propane. It looks like Terry and Scott are already doing that. flip around because my propane's on the other side. Oh, that's the dump. Where the heck is the propane? Hmm, hold on a second. Terry, where's the propane at? What? Where's the propane? I have to go to the Conoco on the other side to get For up. propane? Yeah. Oh, okay, then I'll just wait on y'all because I need to fill up on propane too. You need to fill your propane up? Well, I don't know. It's like half, but I still just want to go ahead and top it off. Because there's water. If that guy leaves, there's water there to put in your tank, too. Oh, no. I'm good on water. Okay. I might get it real quick. Okay, that's fine. I'll wait. I'll pull around. Just going to pull over here and wait on them to do what they need to do. And then we're going to go, I guess, across the street to Conoco for some propane. Or either he said next door. All right. If you weren't aware, there are several gas stations that do have dumping areas. You just have to call and ask or come and look if you do need to dump. Do what? We're going up to the other clinic. All right, I'm right behind you. So yeah, if you do dump. Under the uh, overpass. Roger, I see where it is. So if you do dump, then it is a good, I mean, I mean, it's convenient to, that some gas stations allow it and most places are free, so some places do charge, but like I said, you can always call and get information at the gas station. All right, time to get some propane. has these new euros and they are so good they're uh, less than five dollars and they have lamb turkey or um, I think roast beef this is delicious mm, mm, mm. I have a lot of clothes and I need to go ahead and donate them there's a local thrift store but they are closed but they do have a drop-off center and it's less than a half a mile from us so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off I have some pots and pans I want to get rid of as well and some other stuff I have two backpacks I don't use anymore I'm just trying to get rid of things I don't use on a daily basis and um, or things I don't need for camping so yep that's what I'm doing. So all these bags, those totes, and all this I'm donating. Well, that's it. Getting ready to get on 94 and head east into North Dakota area, or towards North Dakota area. So I will see y'all up the road. I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound, everyone. Love y'all out there.